Hello and welcome to this video. Today we're taking a look at CTS-T4. I wanted to go through an introduction to charting within CTS today. CTS Desktop, what we're looking at here, does provide rich charting options as well as adding studies onto these charts, changing different uh, chart types and more. So we're going to go through some of that today, how you do that, where to find those options and how to configure those. So you see I do have just a basic CTS chart open here in front of me and we're just looking at an E-mini S&P 500 futures contract as an example and we're looking at a 15 minute time frame. You can see that I can uh, kind of uh, move through the chart here uh, just by clicking and then dragging within the chart I can see past history or I can go uh, closer to the present here. I can also adjust the uh, y-axis here, so we can take a look here at the pricing and adjust the view there as well, and uh, you'll notice that's pretty fluid there. Now if I wanted to, for example, uh, change the expiry of this uh, ES futures contract that we're taking a look at, you can see I have the act active contract here, but I also have the option to choose uh, September here, December, or March. Uh, into next year here. So if you wanted to view one of those specific contracts that's a uh, forward there, it does give you the option to quickly choose between those. We also have the option here to go ahead and choose different time frames. So if I wanted to choose a daily chart, for example, it'll load that up for us. And uh, we have other options here as well as a custom option if you really want to uh, get uh, into finer detail there. The other options we have here on our uh, toolbar here are the chart types. So we have open high low close here currently, but there's also high low close, candlestick, line, Heike Nashi, Renko, point and figure chart. You can see there's a lot of different options there as far as how you want to display the data. We also have the option to add a secondary market. So if we wanted to compare the ES to say the NQ, we could do that by adding a secondary market here. We also have the option to add a study to the chart. So there's plenty of studies that are built in here that you can use and all you need to do is just click there and then click add and you'll see that will add a panel or it will put it over the price bars uh, if uh, necessary or if that's uh, that type of uh, study here for example. Looks like we have some Bollinger Bands there uh, by default. We also have the option to clear all drawing tools here. So you can see if we go to the far left, there is the pointer option, but we do have different drawing tools available. If we wanted to draw on the chart a little bit there, we can actually clear those out just by using that clear all drawing tools option. You'll also notice that we can access uh, contracts, so that would be that dome screen. We can open up another chart uh, or some other various windows here as well. There's also the strategy picker, so we're just doing an outright contract, uh, but there are some options for spread training here. Uh, you can see different spread strategies that are available there. Now if we right mouse click in the chart, we can uh, go to the studies uh, option there where we can remove studies. We can also remove them by clicking near them or clicking on them here uh, within the right mouse click menu there. So I could remove those Bollinger Bands and it would do that there. We also have properties. Uh, the properties will allow us to go through some of those other options and uh, type those in there. So that's just a quick overview here to charting within CTS-T4 desktop. You can see there's a lot of different options there available, uh, plenty of customizability if uh, you want to kind of fine tune it to your trading. If you have any questions about CTS-T4 desktop, please feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email at any time.